The name of my project is Sanitizing Tunnel. I use ice cream sticks, straws, foil, hot glue, and material. Good evening. My name is Fatima Zahra Isma. Today, I will be presenting a way I feel the coronavirus can be prevented in schools. The COVID-19 disease is a spread through bodily fluids such as spit, saliva, sneezing, and coughing. It remains on surfaces and can be spread by touching your eyes, nose, or mouth. The key is to always practice good hygiene, such as washing your hands. My device is a sanitizing channel. This device tests temperature and sprays the children and anyone entering the school with sanitizer and a mist of water using a pump. I did not add a pump or computer for temperature on my prototype. As you can see in my demonstration, the silver device is temperature gauge, connected to a computer with a nurse watching. As there are a large number of children at school, checking the temperature is virtual as symptoms of COVID-19 is fever. If you have a temperature and or show any symptoms of COVID-19, you will have to take the test and isolate for a moment. For a minimum of 14 days. A huge thank you to all teachers. Couldn't have done it without you. Always wash your hands, wear a mask, and protective eyewear. Use hand sanitizer and stay safe. Thank you. <laughs>
If the children do, the teachers have to pull them out immediately and call their parents. Inside the booth, there will be a sprinkler system. A sprinkler system that will gently spray um, sanitizer over the kids as they go through. The syringe is here to act as a pump. Let's do a quick demonstration. So as I squeeze the syringe, the sanitizer will gently fall onto the children. The straws are there to represent the, senate, the sprinkler. This is an observation booth to see if the teach, to see if to see if the children are going through. The materials I use is cardboard, cling wrap. Inside there's straws, there's a syringe, tape, two-way tape, and and the glue gun to put everything together. Thank you. We designed a sanitizing tunnel, also known as the COVID catcher. Step 1. Hang all non-essential clothing items on the clothing hook provided for the duration of your time in the tunnel. Step 2. Walk into the tunnel and you will get sprayed by Dettol and water. As soon as you get sprayed by Dettol, the water will spray. This is used to pull the Dettol and make it spray. Step two, walk in and take a sanitizing wipe. Once you're done wiping your hands, throw it in the dustbin provided here. Step, step three, pull out a mask from the dispenser and put it on as soon as you get it out. Step four, open the bottle of the sanitizer and squeeze it only once till you get enough until you get enough sanitizer. Wipe your hands well with the sanitizer. We designed the COVID catcher in order to make it safe for children to enter the classroom without gaining any germs and without spreading any germs. There are also many rules of this machine. The rules include do not spit or vomit in the machine. This is not a toy. Do not tamper with the equipment. No pictures allowed. You only have one minute in the machine, nothing longer. Follow all instructions and do not take more than needed. Um, pull the string for the um, pull the string for the. As soon as you get sprayed by Dettol, the water will spray. This is used to pull the Dettol and make it spray. Step two: Walk in and take a sanitizing wipe. Once you're done wiping your hands, throw it in the dustbin provided here. Step, step 3. Pull out a mask from the dispenser and put it on as soon as you get it out. Step 4. Open the bottle of the sanitizer and squeeze it only once till you get enough, till you get enough sanitizer. Wipe your hands well with the sanitizer. We designed the COVID catcher in order to make it safe for children to enter the classroom without gaining any germs and without spreading any germs. There are also many rules of this machine. The rules include do not spit or vomit in the machine. This is not a toy. Do not tamper with the equipment. No pictures allowed. You only have one minute in the machine, nothing longer. Follow all instructions and do not take more than needed. Um, pull the string for the um, pull the string for the spray bottles to work. To improve our machine, we would use the neuron kit motor to make curtains to open and close. You are only allowed one minute in the tunnel, otherwise it closes and ten seconds later it will open back up again. Thank you. Good morning everybody. Hope everyone's uh, keeping safe during this time. So what I've uh, made here is called the Portable Sanitizing Station or the PSS. Another fun little name for it would be the Germinator. So it would be based, placed in every classroom at the entrance for easy use. How I made it is using cardboard, syringes, glue, piping and a bottle. Um, there's two ways of how to use it. The first is automatic using a sensor, uh, but we don't have the neuron sensor, so I've made the manual version. If the sensor fails to work, we also have a manual version using hydraulics, 
um, for the product to work. So there would also be a UV light ender to kill the germs, but we don't also have a UV light. So how to use the, the automatic version, you would just put in your hands under and letting the sanitizer dispense. The second way of using it is there is a uh, syringe here. You would then push the syringe in, uh, triggering the hydraulics to work, then pushing, pushing the bottle lid so that the sanitizer will be dispensed. And you have now been sanitized. Thanks for watching my video and hope everyone keeps safe. Thank you so much. Hi, my name is Azan. And I invented the hand sanitizing bracelet. This bracelet would make it more easier to disinfect your hands. It would spread the germs more when you put your infected hand in your pocket to take out the hand sanitizer. This is how it will work. You'll take your non-infected hand and shoot the hand sanitizer in your hand and wash your hands. The spring will automatically push the thing where you shot to the back.
To make the crate, I used an old plastic box and for the base, I used the lid of a tin. Lastly, for the foot pedal, hand sanitizing dispenser, I used an old hair clip to represent pedal. I made the dispenser by cutting an eraser into two pieces and spray painting it pink. I rested it on a wooden stick which rested on the hair clip. And that is my second and last invention. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for your time. Good morning to the Utayara STEM Institute and, w and welcome to the Pumpetizer Demo. My name is Yusuf Payat. I am in grade 6 and I have invented the Pumpetizer. The materials I used was a plastic bottle, sanitizer, cardboard, a syringe and two 20 cm clear pipes. I filled a bottle with sanitizer, made two holes in the lid. I then inserted one of the pipes into the liquid with about 10 cm standing out. The second pipe I put about half a cm into the lid. I glued them both on. The pipe that was half a cm in, I connected to the syringe. It works by pressing the syringe when the, by, um, the syringe disperses air into the into the bottle which causes sanitizer to come out of the pipe. I would have used a pump or motor but due to the lockdown conditions I had to use what I had. So the next best thing was a syringe which is much more cost efficient. It is a simple contraption which will allow children to disinfect their hands without dropping any or holding any bottles. The materials I used I found in my garage and costed me nothing. It is easy to fill it as to use it. Thank you.